Welcome back to the Legit Culinary Think Tank. It's been a pretty amazing month. Uh, we just hopped over the, the 100 subscribers mark and that, that's awesome. I, I really appreciate everybody showing up and uh, subscribing, liking the content. Uh, I would love to, uh, to see some shares and uh, I, I look forward to sharing more of what I know with you. Uh, among the comments that I've been receiving, uh, somebody reached out to me, uh, a young man by the name of Paul Danico, and he, um, he was an apprentice for me while I worked uh, at the, the CMC test, and this was back in October 2017. Um, he sent me a, a message uh, about uh, how I deal with pressure and stress and competition and in uh, practical exams. So I um, took a few minutes to think about it and I wanted to make a video. So for me, I think the mind game is 75% of, of everything we do. Um, pressure and stress, they, they come from uh, the discomfort of being in unfamiliar situations. Uh, and, and there's a direct relationship to being outside of the comfort zone and the pressure that you feel. So the, uh, the Navy SEALs, they, uh, they, they work by, uh, by a mantra that uh, you don't raise to the occasion, you, uh, you fall to the level of your training. And, uh, and, and so that has something that I've always lived by or tried to embody in my training and in my practice and in my preparation. So how I deal with that, right, I train. Um, another one that comes from the military is, um, you know, the more you bleed in preparation or the more you bleed in training, the less you're going to bleed in battle. And so I try and set myself up for situations that are as challenging as possible uh, in front of the, the same judges or the same evaluators that uh, I'll be in front of when I'm actually at the show, when I'm competing. Um, if it's going to be the Master Chef test, I tried to get in front of as many Master Chefs as I could. When it came to you know working on competition, same thing. I would try and reach out to as many Master Chefs as I could. Um, just even having a couple at least starts to build that tolerance for uh, for working and, and being in front of people. Um, you know, I, I try to do the work I do every day with the intention and the knowing that what I invest in in those situations is going to be who I become. So I, I train really, really hard to work fast, work clean, work efficiently, and I know that that becomes a habit. It's like training muscle memory. So another way that I deal with this is uh, I, I train as hard as I can every day, knowing that how I train will become who I am and influence my decisions uh, when I'm most stressed out. And that's, that's in a competition setting. Those settings are designed to stress you, to push you to the point that you've, that you've trained as much as you can to control variables. And so that whatever little other variables come along, you, you're going to be able to deal with because you're not completely maxed out. Uh, I guess I, I would compare it to learning how to drive a car, which I think is something that everybody can relate to. When you first start driving a car, it's really uncomfortable. You have to think about where the mirror is positioned, the seat position, where the pedals are, where the steering wheel is, are your hands in the right place. Eventually, over time, it becomes completely second nature. And that's just because it's something that you do. You, the more you work at it, the more you become used to it, the more it becomes second nature. And, and the more you just kind of fall into a rhythm. And, and I think that's where, you know, starting in competitions and with the intention of doing another competition really pays its benefits. Once you do it once, it will help you prepare more for your next competition. The, the stress that you learn how to deal with will roll over into the next competition and you can focus on making better food and focus on you know, producing to better results. Like with anything, it just takes time in the driver's seat working at it and trying to, to push to the point where you're making yourself better. And you kind of raise your pain tolerance so now you're more comfortable in uncomfortable situations. And I think that's a perfect analogy to, uh, to end on, right? The, the more you're outside of the comfort zone, the more you're going to grow. And the faster you accept discomfort, the more you're going to accomplish in your career, in anything you do. Growth is not found in the comfort zone. So those are just a couple of my thoughts. 
Um, I think I answered the question. If I didn't, please leave comments below. Feel free to, uh, to share this message with anybody who you think might benefit from it. <laughs> if you haven't done so already, please check out my Instagram at Gerald L. Ford. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button. Uh, that Hitting that like button helps with the, uh, the algorithms and gets more people to my, to my site and inevitably helps me have more people view my content, which allows me to produce more content. Uh, again, I look forward to a really great month ahead and uh, take care. See you around.